In this video, I will provide you with an example of what a two-car garage, approximately 20 foot by 20 foot, would uh, look like with a truss roof on it. And there is the truss right there. The truss is an individual engineered unit with basically has a ceiling, ceiling joist or a rafter tie with rafters basically built in it and it will sit on two bearing points and that will be the exterior walls and it will have blocks in between them on the bottom and on the top and I used a little larger block used a 2x6 on the top you can use a 2x4 but I'm throughout this video series on garage roof framing I want to provide you with different ideas and different like for example the first one that I did on a regular gable roof had a plum cut. This one here has a square cut for the fascia board on this side. And of course it's using two by six blocks. Fascia board has a 12 inch overhang from the face of the gable end and a 24 inch overhang. And this would be a horizontal line or a level line coming off the face of the framing to the end of the fascia board at the top. Gable truss is usually going to have some studs in it. You can see where it's a different uh, type of truss than the regular truss. And this will be used for the walls. And I guess you can always order a, your trusses without a gable truss and make your own because basically this is something that could be built on your own on the job site where the trusses here you might have a harder time doing. The blocks, again, two by six, because you have room here. If I didn't have room, if this was a different design, let's say, for example, the webbing was back a little farther, then I would have to use a two by four for sure. And um, the two by six blocks, you know, like, again, I said, they might not be necessary. I just kind of threw them in there. The trust manufacturer should provide you with all the information and really all the blocks that you need for your truss roof framing. This is a sway brace and uh, can be less than a 45 degree angle. I wouldn't have it more than a 45 degree angle. I wouldn't have it like a 60 degree angle, but it could be a 30 degree angle and going to the next truss. But wanted to point out that this needs to be cut a little bit lower so that it's not sticking up. We can see here where this one here is sticking up above the framing because I cut it even with the top here or drew it in that way. But you can see that these braces will need to come down a little bit. And same thing with the blocks. If you look at the block right here, the block is down. It's not at the top here. It's not at the peak. It's at the peak um, where the blocks would meet the plane of the roof or the plane of the roof would come in plywood. You don't want to be uh, having the plywood uh, sticking up there. You are going to need a, this would be, what would this be? A brace again. And uh, I usually just put a one by four down with one 16 D nail in it. You can use a two by four 16s. You can always use this with eights, eight D nails too. And uh, these braces here actually just keep the trusses evenly spaced and you can always put two of them in instead of running one right down the center you could have them in the thirds you could have one over here and one over here somewhere and that is it hopefully that is enough information for you to understand or get a better understanding of a what a garage would look like the framing with a truss roof